Hello, in this video I will show you how to bake ambient occlusion maps in the best way you can do it in Blender. On my opinion, of course. Let's start. Let's create few simple object and environment for them. Let's place them somewhere. We also need to unwrap each object if they have an a UV map. Then select them all and combine their UV maps into one big UV map. To make UV map more effective I will use UV Packmaster add-on that can be found on Blender Market or Gumboard. For some money of course. Now when the UV map is packed let's add simple materials for each object and color them in different colors. We also need to create an image for the ambient occlusion map. As a background color I will use middle gray color with 100% transparency. Switch render engine to Sickles and activate render mode in viewport. Then let's add an ambient occlusion map node to each material. You also may add a RGB curves node, or any other node, between the ambient occlusion and the output nodes to add any correction you want before baking. But for now I leave it as is. For draft baking I will set samples to 1. In baking section I will leave checked only diffuse and emit options. Set margins to 1 and uncheck the clear image option. Now let's start baking. As you can see the quality is very poor, but this is enough for checking that we set it all right before baking. Now let's increase samples. 32 will be enough and very fast at baking. Now we will bake ambient occlusion for all objects one by one. When all done let's go to compositing. Put the baked image on the desk and connect to viewer output node. Add in paint node between the image and the viewer nodes and increase pixels as much as needed to get all empty spaces filled by margins. For denoising I usually add a blur node after the in paint node.
Before saving the image don't forget to change Filmic to Standard in Color Management section to get right coloring of the image, and then save the image to PNG without Alpha Channel. Now it's time to connect the baked ambient occlusion map to our materials. I usually add diffuse BSDF shader and mix it with a main shader using Baycal map as mix factor to get proper and quick result. Sometimes to get more soft result we need to change color space of the image to linear. When all is ready we can export the scene to Verge 3D to see how it looks there. That's all thanks for watching.